Here's something you probably don't think much about when you're uh, logging on to your Facebook page. Uh, your worth. Apparently, specifically your online value and how much you're liking a company actually means and this is interesting because I guess companies want you so much to like their page and there's a reason financially for it and there may even be some money in this one and we have an expert to talk about how important this is right now we've got our Stephanie Humphrey who always has the greatest tips and advice this is fascinating well, the thing is nothing happens online that isn't going to garner money for somebody hmm. every social network every website every search engine it's the whole concept of big data and the fact that they're trying to get as much information about you down to you know such a fine granularity because any little piece of information can be something that can then be sold to an advertiser so for them to make money now sometimes I will get it we all do you get an ad for something for some product mm -hmm. and it says you know hit like and if I kind of like it I'll hit like what is that who's making money I'm not making money Well, the company there are companies that are collecting all of that information about you and then they're selling it to manufacturers and retailers so that they can put together a profile about you Mike oh, Jarek wow. and then they can target ads directly to you specifically based on what you've liked how about how do I get paid like is there an app or something that's gonna make me money well the thing is there is a dollar value to what the companies would make so for every like that you click on Facebook it is worth one hundred seventy four dollars and seventeen cents wow. to that company yes because more people that click like on uh, pages brand pages are more likely to spend more money they're more likely mm. to recommend those pages to their friends so that is the dollar value so yeah you might as well make some money off of it and this is the way to do it placed as a company that uh, pays you to allow folks to track you online and offline you download a couple of different apps and it kind of when you check into different stores when you go to different websites when you like different pages they're collecting all of that data and it gives you a chance to make a couple bucks off of is it. Is there something called panel? Panel is one that will allow you to earn points that'll get you Amazon gift cards or different kind of gift cards so that you can buy things. So what that oh. does is it'll kind of just track you. It's always on on your phone and whenever you go in somewhere it starts collecting all of these data points to make sure you're actually inside of a store and it sends all of that information back to the company so they know what store you were in, how long you were in there, what you were most likely to buy. I mean, it tracks so much different information. And you can also download this to your Facebook page as well. So anytime you're on Facebook and you're liking companies and you're going to these different pages, it tracks all of that information as well. I'm not sure well. I'm liking this. I know, right? It's like Big Brother. What's oh, the you gift? definitely have to be willing to give up a little bit of your privacy uh -huh. for this. Definitely. Give to charity, same concept, but it gives the money to charity. You earn the points, and then for charities like the uh, American Red Cross, the Cancer Society, Habitat for Humanity, it'll give them that money for uh, your data, basically. You'd like that. Yeah. This is good, but then they know everything about you. That's yeah. the thing. And then Check In King goes along with these apps in conjunction with these apps. It actually allows you to check in to more than one thing at a time. So you can check in on Facebook, Foursquare, huh. and Google. And the more things you check into, the more points you can earn. See, so that's the one part that one makes thing. me nervous, Stephanie. The whole check in thing. The other day, I was I was on Facebook and I messaged somebody, and she said, "You're in Camden," and I was actually going over the bridge. And I, I said, "How do you know that?" She goes, "Oh, it says on your Facebook page that you're." I, and I know. thought. I How do know. I turn that off? I'm like, I don't, I don't like that part of it. What yes. is that thing, Google ScreenWise? Google ScreenWise is another similar concept. It's by Google. It allows you to uh, download a extension to the Chrome browser. So instead of uh, using Explorer as your web browser, you would use Google Chrome. And you put this extension on <coughs> your browser so that wherever you go online, wherever web pages you look at, whatever clicks you make, it's tracking all of that. And it also would pay you for that information as well. I have a quick question for you. What's up? <clears throat> um, you know how you can bring up a music video like on this Samsung phone? Mm -hmm. And you listen to it, you play it, put your headphone in there, and mm -hmm. it sounds really darn good. I tried to do that when I'm riding the Amtrak, mm -hmm. and it won't play. Interesting. This the, I'm using this piece of my purse. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, that has nothing to do with it's the signal. It's like <laughs> Wi-Fi. Did you? It just may be your signal on the train. It's, it's just signal on the your train. Personal. Did you log onto the Amtrak Wi-Fi? Yep. You got onto the thing? Up and back. And so, you know, I had a cocktail there on the uh, uh, on the Amtrak staff. <laughs> and so I'm getting irritated because I wanted to hear this music. It just may be the signal on the train. Well, I put out a tweet. I said, 
You know, this Wi-Fi on Amtrak really, uh, and use the and S that, word. And that's tough, yeah. Amtrak having having Wi-Fi on a, on a vehicle that's moving that quickly can be oh, a little bit tough oh. as well. Except yeah. normal people would tweet it and nobody pays attention. Amtrak responded. Well, Amtrak Ooh. tweeted me back in one minute. But they said. Sorry about your problem. That's which, awesome. Uh, I said, thanks for helping. There what you a go. brat you are. That's well, how I was shocked that they were watching you. me and listening to me. Don't, 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 don't. Stephanie, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> Sorry that Mike thinks you're his personal <laughs> tech assistant. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I bet other people have that same question. It's